Okay, this question is also taken from SBI PO mains 2017 paper and this is memory based as some students told us and what this question says is that you have a line PR it is parallel to line QT and an angle S is formed like this we have to find the relation between quantity 1 and quantity 2. Before I solve this question, let me tell you that this question is taken as such with a small modification from the NCRT class 9th or 10th book where these parallel lines are discussed. So my sincere suggestion to all the aspirants is that you should go through each and every question in the NCRT books because always without doubt examiners they create questions on the basis of the questions contained in those books and from the new pattern of questions that I am seeing I am pretty sure that this mathematical portion is going to get pretty important for these bank PO exams. It is already important for SSC exams but for bank PO exams also the level is rising fast. Okay, let us see what has to be done. We have to find the quantity 1 as value of A that is this angle if we see the diagram this angle is A plus 40 degrees and this angle is A degrees and this angle formed like this is S degrees. Value of A if S is an acute angle and PR is parallel to QT. As done in that NCRT book also, we will draw a line through this point which is parallel to both the lines PR and QT. So draw L parallel to PR which is already parallel to QT. Now what is this angle? The one I am drawing here. This angle is going to be same as A plus 40 because L is parallel to PR. This angle is also A plus 40 because L is parallel to PR. So the basic fundamental of parallel lines. And let us repeat the story similarly for this angle. This L is parallel to QT so this angle is also A because L is parallel to QT. So can you see that we can set up an equation here that this S is equal to this upper angle plus this lower angle. So we can write, I will write here by inspection by inspection a plus a plus 40 should be equal to s that's what we can see which implies 2a plus 40 should be equal to s just added this a and a now let us see he says S is an acute angle. Since S is less than 90, an acute angle is an angle which is less than 90. Equal to 90 is right angle but it has to be less than 90. Since S is less than 90, we should have 2A plus 40, it should also be less than 90 because S is equal to 2A plus 40. 
which implies after certain rearrangement that a should be less than 40 goes to the other side becomes 50 20 goes down so i'll write it less than 50 by 2 that is a should be less than 25 so this is the conclusion for, for quantity 1 the value of a the value of a whatever it has to be less than 25 degrees is the conclusion for quantity 1 now what is quantity 2 quantity 2 is 25 degrees we don't have to go any further this is the same 25 degrees therefore the required relation the required relation is that quantity 1 is less than quantity 2 which is the answer to this question simple question i took longer because i had to go through all those steps but as a teacher it is my duty to lay all the steps clearly so that everybody is able to understand it but if you are doing it orally honestly speaking it didn't took me even five seconds to do this so we'll close it right now i'll come with more questions from the same question paper i'm just putting them in separate videos so that we can let's say isolate them so we'll close it right now